Okay, I think we're alive. Let me just check. Okay, cool, we're live. Oh, yeah. Live. <laughs> Eric, live. <laughs> okay, cool, we're live. Yeah, I'm just checking if the audio... Okay, the audio is working good. One watching now, and it's me. <laughs> Been I've been good. The same old, same old. Hello. Yeah, I'm, uh, yesterday was pretty good because I, um, I'm, like, the new short is starting to take shape more and more, oh. so that's good. And it's a, spoiler alert, a uh, continuation of these characters, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I um, because for the past couple of weeks, I was mainly just like trying to come up with ideas and stuff, uh, and like just writing dialogue and stuff like that. But it was, you know, like in the very beginning stages of making something, and it just kind of feels like you're just kind of tripping over yourself trying to come up with something that works. And, like, yeah. it just feels like nothing's quite gelling. Yeah, but... it's, like, such a relief when you move to the middle stages and you're stumbling over yourself and you're not quite sure if it, it's working. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing that's, and like... <laughs> that's the thing that's, like... Uh, yeah, just, like, frustrating. Or, like, a little, like... I guess, like, worrying, because you're like, is this even gonna work, like... Yeah. What if I put all this work in trying to figure this out, and it just kind of isn't... Nothing gels, but... But I'm... Uh, I'm happy, because it's kind of starting to... Like, there's kind of, like, a... Uh... Like, a structure that's kind of forming and stuff. So that's good. Uh, yeah. Mr. Frog, the homie. <laughs> Tom says, Mr. Bummage is a better Ugh. bro. Keep it up. I got notifications on for your work. Can't wait. Also, also is the hippie that is driving based on Weird Al? <laughs> no, he's <laughs> not, but but uh I'm I'm glad that uh people clicked on the video thinking it was Weird Al. <laughs> Homie asked if I'm drawing a frog. And then said, I peace. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't answer fast enough. He was offended. <laughs> this guy's never gonna answer my question. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the Weird Al thing is funny though, because it's funny that there's so many people that pointed that out. It's just kind of, it's weird because you never can predict that when you're working on stuff. But I see their resemblance. But yeah, thanks for for watching and enjoying the short, Tom. How have you been, Basin? I'm chilling. Pretty much same old, same old. I'm... No, just doing classwork and stuff. Yeah, you um, you're 
kind of getting to the end of the class, right? Yeah, there's like four more weeks, I want to say. Oh, damn. Okay, what, so you got a three, little bit. Three, three more weeks? I'm not sure exactly, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it starts to go by quick near the end when you gotta, like, get all the shit together. Yeah. Um, pretty stressful, but I'm getting through it. Yeah. That's good. Good luck on the the last push. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Show you what I'm working on. No, get, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Level. Yeah, I want to see it. Tom asks, is this Wii U menu music? No, it's a, uh, it's a Frutiger Arrow playlist. Have you heard of that bass in the, the, the aesthetic the Frutiger aesthetic. Arrow? Yeah, it's like, um, Windows XP almost, right? Or... Yeah, it's like the kind of like mid-2000s kind of futurism, uh, like, aesthetic that was kind of like on all the desktops and stuff like that gives you like a weird sense of comfort it's from like our childhood and stuff yeah but also eerie yeah it's it, it, like it i always thought it was like so cheesy like when it was all that was like the prominent aesthetic but like Something about it is, like, like endear not endearing, but, like, just interesting to look at compared to how, like, minimal, futuristic everything looks nowadays. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tom, Tom, yeah, it might actually be, like, a song from the menu music. I think it's just like a compilation of different stuff that kind of fits the Frutiger arrow aesthetic. But. <laughs> yeah, my mom is in the chat. <laughs> oh. Hello, Mrs. Kaiser. Can you draw a fish? Yeah, I'll draw a fish once I'm done coloring this this shit right here <laughs> yeah I like that drawing basin thanks did you ever uh, just speaking of frogs did you ever watch that uh that documentary on Matt Fury, the guy that made uh, like oh, the pet, the Pepe guy, Pepe, Pepe. Uh, yeah, yeah, the guy, like the, it's like about like the the artist and the comic, the like the boys club comic that Pepe comes from. Right now, it was like appropriated by some. People or something. I, I don't actually know. I haven't seen it, but yeah, I haven't. I haven't seen it either. I've seen clips of it because there's like a lot of like really good animation in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's just something I I've been meaning to check out for the longest time. Yeah, I heard about it. I don't. Honestly, I don't even really. I wasn't. I wasn't um, that familiar with Pepe himself. Yeah, it kind of just took a life of its own. Like, after a while, just being spread on the internet. But, yeah, it's, nu it's nuts that, like, just some random thing <laughs> you can make and, like, kind of just get that level of notoriety you know yeah and just kind of take on a life of its own
Yeah, I always gotta like warm up like on stream and shit. Yeah. Feel that. Hey Steve Mulberry. How's it going? Canada, huh? Sorry, Canada, eh? <laughs> I love Canada. Uh, yeah, I gotta see if I can watch it for free. That'd be sick. <laughs> Tubi has ads though, right? Does it? I, I don't know if I've, uh, if I've used Tubi. Moxie says it's a W, sir, w service. But I gotta get on that. Get some W's in the chat for Tubi. <laughs> yeah, I gotta... Do you have a VPN basin? Um, I don't, but... Was someone explaining to us what it was? Yeah, was Kevin. That? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like... That's what it was. I was like, oh, maybe I should get one. Yeah. Yeah, I was, um, talking yesterday with somebody about, um, like, just how there's all this really cool French animation, but, mm -hmm. like, it's, like, impossible to watch because either, like, it, like, it's only available in, like, European countries or something like that. Work. So, I was, like, thinking, like, it might actually be good to get a VPN so you can see some stuff. Yeah. Wait, yeah, you can do that, huh? Like, dang, maybe I should do that then, because there's some stuff yeah. I want to watch that, like, yeah, only in other countries. Yeah. It's just, it's funny, because, like, I feel like a lot of VPN ads, they... I mean, I guess they, they kind of prominently say, like, oh, you can watch Netflix from, like, you know, the UK or Japan or something, like, but I feel like they lean more into, like, like your internet uh, activity will be completely private, you know, like, like they're, yeah. they want that, like, online criminal crowd or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they'd get a lot more business if they just promoted the fact that you could watch other stuff. Yeah. <sighs> oh, it has ads. I mean, that's... I'm cool with that if it's free. One ad at the beginning of the episode, maybe. Oh, really? Oh, that's chilling. <laughs> Karn said, I screenshotted it if you care. Screenshotted what? <laughs> Drawing? It's chill. No, I yeah, guess. you can screenshot whatever. Yeah, your yeah, your internet activity isn't private because they now watch your every move. Yeah, I, I believe that. Big brother type shit. Yeah. Did you ever try using the deep web basin? What is that? How many webs are there? 
There's dark web, there's deep web, there's... Well, yeah, that all, that's all the same stuff, like uh, dark web, deep web. Uh, it's like... Then, no, I haven't. <laughs> sort of I... like... You can, like... Do, like... <laughs> illegal stuff or something? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. It's, like, kind of convoluted what it is. Like, it's there's, like, a lot of, kind of, like, sensationalism around it. But... It's, I feel like it's honestly not very different from just the regular web. Like, there's Mundane. still, like, awful shit on the regular internet that kind of just goes under the radar. But the deep web, like, it, it's supposed to be, like, impossible to, to trace, like, your... IP or something like that if you use the deep web. Oh word. But but it's no. pretty it's pretty boring if you like get on it because it, I think you need to like have like the full URL for certain pages if you wanna access them. Like it's not something where it's just like you run into awful shit all the time. gotta be in the know yeah d dude says what about the light web <laughs> light web yeah like youtube kids or something finger family videos that's the light web christianmingle.com <laughs> oh no the light web Club Penguin. That's yeah. a good light, I would say. Well, deep web is a part of the web that can't be accessed. While well, dark web is <clears throat> is place a place you can't find using normal search engines. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't know there was a difference between those. Ask Jeeves isn't allowed on the dark web. <laughs> Jeeves is banned. Dra put major bummage on YouTube kids. <laughs> yeah, that'd be. I wonder if it would survive on YouTube kids. Probably find its audience. Yeah. <laughs> All those those kids that that start smoking at like nine years old or something. <laughs> <clears throat> Draw the finger family. Nah. <clears throat> that sounds good. I've been like obsessed with finger family like for years now, like. Because uh, there's a, uh, have you heard of the YouTuber, um, uh, Frederick Knudsen? Nope. He makes, like, a, like, this kind of, like, <clears throat> like, documentary kind of series called Down the Rabbit Hole. And he covers, like, different kind of obscure internet things that have happened, kind of just, like, chronicling them. And he made a video on, uh finger family videos and they were like do you know about finger family oh it's like they're basically just like the like uh like these videos with horrible animation and it's just like it'll be like a you know like a vector image of like a hand and each finger is like a different member of a family and they like and it's the whole thing is just they're singing the finger family song which is which is basically just a reworking of a lullaby and they it would kind of creepy it I, I don't think they're meant to, well that's the that's the whole like rabbit hole of this is that they uh -huh. are they are super creepy and like 
really mm -hmm. unnerving to watch. But they get like hundreds of millions of views on YouTube Kids. Oh, and, it's one of these things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like if you remember like Elsa Gate and all that stuff. Yeah, I feel like I've heard about how creepy like children's YouTube can be. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, there's just, uh, I always just thought, like, <laughs> just like the, the term, like, finger family videos, like, it just sounds so ridiculous, you know? The whole Spider-Man, Elsagate stuff was completely nuts. Beta brain rot. <laughs> yeah, the, that was, like, that was a fun era of YouTube. <laughs> Those are the good old days. Yeah. Golden Sunvid is fire. I watched that cooked. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, that was like the only like short I've done in CG. Be fun oh. to... Is that the title of the 48 one? Yeah, the, the yeah. bird guys. I love that one. It's weird because, uh, like, I, like, rewatched it again, and I'm, I was just thinking, like, would I be able to make this again? Like, I feel like I've kind of forgotten some CG stuff. So it's, it's, like, weird watching something where you're like, how exactly did I go about doing this again? Like, like, I remember, like, basically how I made it, but I just, I don't know if, I can just jump into making like CG stuff again if I open the a program. That's so funny because I was thinking about that recently too, like thinking about some of the stuff I did in the past, like, wait, some of the stuff I'm like kind of proud of, how did I come up with this? Like, <laughs> and then I was thinking like, oh, do you think like, not to compare myself to any of these people, but do you think like, Scorsese looks at his past films and go, what, what the fuck was I on? Like, how did, I, <laughs> yeah. how did I do this? Yeah, I bet, I bet there's some element of that just because, like, you change as a person so much throughout life that I bet there's, like, some element of, like, may, maybe not, like, how did I do this, but, like, just it could be interesting looking back and like remembering like oh yeah i was in this kind of place when i was making this and that right. feels like alien to me now you know yeah because it's funny because like uh there's a whole story of uh martin scorsese um like he it, like it was something about, oh yeah, this is what it was. It was, um, when he was making Taxi Driver, it was, like, near the end. I think he, like, had it all edited and, like, finished and everything. And then, um, he showed it to, like, the studio or whatever, or the production company. And they wanted to, to, like, heavily edit, like, the end shootout scene. Mm. And, like... Scorsese was like completely against that and he was like like this is gonna ruin the film and like all this stuff and he was like he got into like this frenzy and apparently like and like um Steven Spielberg is the one that like told this story uh and he I think he told it like with Scorsese next to him and you could see Scorsese getting like really like embarrassed and maybe a little worried that he was telling this but <laughs> he said that martin scorsese like stayed up all night like drinking and he was like he had a plan to go to the studio and like 
kill the guy that like <laughs> like he was gonna like shoot him like once he walked out of the offices or something like that and like a couple guys like had to kind of like talk him down from doing that and then and then ultimately the solution for the 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 edits was just that they just changed kind of the color grading slightly so the blood looked a little like more brown looking so it didn't have that like like you know blood red kind of look to it and that was like enough to to satisfy the the censorship or whatever that and uh the gun pointed at the yeah. executive head yeah <laughs> Marty Silving while watching I, just See, that I can be reasonable. <laughs> I make the bread a little less bread. Yeah. <laughs> can you be a little reasonable? Well, he has a 22 pointed at his head. <laughs> like he shoots the guy and he was like, You could have just changed the color grading a bit. Then he's like, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, what yeah. did I do? Oh, Marty, no. But he must, uh, he must have been in the thick of it making that if he was, if he I was, mean, <laughs> he was about was to good. go full Joker. <laughs> yeah. He had a handlebar mustache back then, right? Or something? Kind of looked yeah, I think crazy. He, yeah, I think he had a crazy beard back then. Well, it's... See what Chad is saying. Put on some finger family videos while you draw. No, I would I would have a mental break if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> what's up fellas? Glad to catch another stream. Yeah, hey, what's up, oh, Dark yeah. Deep Red? I checked out a uh, jam this week. Was I liked it a lot. There was this whole ARG that satirized the whole fa finger family craze called Hey Kids. It's super weird and interesting. Oh yeah, I'm gonna check that out. D Dude says bet your bottom dollar. They changed they changed the channel name to Hey Kids AI for adults. Mm. Is this is this blood realistic enough for you? <laughs> Chat is popping. Did you read that or did you just say that? <laughs> I just said it because <laughs> it is popping. <laughs> popping. <laughs> Have you uh have you heard of the movie Problemista Basin? I have. I haven't seen it though. Did you watch it? Yeah. Was it good? What'd you think? Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was it like it really um captured like looking for like creative work in like the modern era like super well oh yeah yeah it was like really funny because there's like a lot of like stuff uh, like there's this whole thing of like he like this woman that he's kind of wor working for wants him to use this program called filemaker pro mm -hmm. and and like 
everyone's like, like, why doesn't she just use Google, like, Google Docs or whatever, you know? Like, it's free and everyone uses it. And then, but she's like, no, like, FileMaker Pro is the best, and, like, and, like, you have to pay for it, and, like, or, like, he was saying, like, it, it, you have to pay for it, and it's, like, more complicated, and, like, nobody uses it and all this stuff, and I just thought, like, that, stuff like that was funny, because he's kind of, like, bullshitting her, saying that he, like, knows how to use it, and it's just kind of, like... Mm -hmm cramming to to figure it out but there's a lot of funny stuff like that or like just kind of like the uh like job like these virtual job interview things you know like they have one of those in there that i thought was really funny but yeah you should check it out i feel like you'd like it yeah, I'll have to check it out. I haven't seen much of that guy's stuff. I think I saw like a stand-up special he did. Oh, he did. He, the director, and the star, right? He's the director and the star. Oh, he he did. Oh, what the hell? He was a stand-up. Let me. He was a writer on SNL and also a stand-up. I can't remember. But we also yeah, did a TV me... show called um. Closest spookies. Oh, what the fuck? Damn, I didn't know he directed it. That's nuts. Yeah, I should have should have looked that up. <laughs> You ever get a sore throat and have to talk like a mummy? Yeah, that's that's happened to me. <laughs> That's the finger family? Yeah. <laughs> I sadly have one and can barely utter a word or two, so I'm using this chat as my main source of communication. <laughs> I'm glad we can help with your communication ability. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not sick. That shit sucks. I feel like I haven't really been getting sick that much the past. Don't few say years. it. Don't <laughs> say it. Well, I'm, I'm safe. I feel like I'm safe saying <laughs> it just because I got sick earlier this year. So I think I'm good for a while.
feel like all I draw in this stream is like anime type shit. <laughs> I have the same, uh, I feel like I fall back on the same thing, just like drawing random, <clears throat> random guys, you know? Yeah. Got some American type shit. <laughs> Iron Man, bitch. Nothing more American than Iron Man. <laughs> About Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Forgot about him. Because he is literally more American. <laughs> There's some like comic dude who draws like his superheroes like like this or something. They have the most fucked up chest ever. Oh, like I I think I know what you're talking about. Like the anatomy is like all crazy looking. Yeah. <laughs> like it looks like they got just like pumped full of steroids and like very specific parts of the body yeah. they just have like the craziest shelf of a chest yeah <laughs> yeah no disrespect to that artist uh, no <laughs> The style. Yeah. yeah I, I give full disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> it takes one sharp edge of a paper to take one of those finger family members out. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Finger family execution. Did one of you draw MF Doom? Yeah, sure. Seems like he'd be fun to draw. It's like a interesting mask. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Wait, MF Doom is British? No, oh, he what? is. I didn't British know that. American? crazy isn't uh isn't 21 savage british too oh yeah huh like he got like deported or something like a little while back do you remember that yeah i think i remember that but he's back right i mean 
making music. I assume he's back. Seems we like yeah. How does that happen? Like, I mean, I guess yeah. it's just maybe he just didn't file some. I don't know. For some reason, I always just assume like if you're that big of a celebrity, you can just kind of get away with whatever at some point. Right. Dark Deep Red said he was born in London, but he grew up a New Yorker. You been uh, following any of that like P Diddy stuff lately? I know his house got raided or something, right? Yeah. Like, do we know why? I don't. I actually don't. I don't know. Well, I mean, it it. Criminal. It, what do yeah, you it sounds. It sounds like he's. He's like the Epstein of the music industry. <laughs> like that's what well, people are kind of saying. Like. He like, would like black he had like stuff. yeah like sex trafficking and he and also like blackmail like his houses would have like s cameras like oh, set up no. everywhere and you know and then like he's connected to like super you know powerful people like Prince Harry again, like his name <laughs> was kind of like <laughs> attached. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> that guy is such a fool. <laughs> like, oh, I can't. Oh my gosh. Did you ever see that interview he did with like, I think it was like the BBC or something? Wait, Prince Harry is the, the Megan Mark. Maybe oh Marshall. shit oh shit okay no not prince Her prince andrew that's what i'm talking uh, about yeah, i don't want to i don't want to yeah, no no i, I think <laughs> I, yeah I, meant, I know you meant like the epstein one right yeah 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 no prince andrew not prince harry i don't want to fucking i don't want people <laughs> thinking the wrong thing with that but yeah prince andrew he did like this ridiculous interview on I think it was like BBC or something like that, where he's trying to get ahead of all the like Epstein stuff, and he completely made himself look like <laughs> completely guilty. <laughs> like, like I don't know what he was thinking doing that, but I mean, like I think even the the like the royal family or whatever has unknighted him or something like that so he's like <laughs> completely disgraced now but now his name's popping up with all the the p diddy stuff <laughs> wait so did p diddy did he leave the country or something or i heard that he fled to like some island in like the caribbean or something like that so yeah, I don't know what's going on with with him. I need to look. I I want to 
read up on what's going on with all that because like a bunch of a bunch of stuff has just been happening with that case this week but just pretty dark shit yeah <clears throat> Can you draw a Demogorgon from Stranger Things? Yeah, I can attempt that. Those things are pretty gnarly, aren't they? I think so. I still haven't uh, watched Stranger Things. Have you? I watched... Did I watch season three? I watched season one for sure. I'm pretty sure I watched season two. Could not tell you what happens. <laughs> really. Oh, uh, really? I, I don't remember, but <laughs> there's a kid named Eleven. Yeah. He's bald. He Isn't it a Millie Bobby Brown that plays that character? Mm-hmm. Gets a nosebleed. I remember that. <laughs> She's like psychic. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. I should check it out. Clarice wanted to watch it again. Is Clarice a fan? I think so. I don't know if she's seen every season of it, though. I remember I watched an episode of it that was, like, directed by Andrew Stanton. Oh, yeah, he... Yeah, I forgot he directed a, an episode of that. What does Eleven wear? <laughs> Clarice is in the yeah. chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta watch Stranger Things, it's good at least the first season. I, I remember liking it, I just can't remember what happened. Oh shit. Eleven likes Egos. I remember that. <laughs> Big fan of Egos. <laughs> I give her a box of Egos. <laughs> And she's got a boyfriend. His name is in Wolfheart. <laughs> And damn, this MF Dune is not looking great. Theme music's like do 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 like super eighties. Yeah, yeah. I remember liking the the soundtrack, like the stuff that I heard from it.
Damn, that is a sick ass hand, dude. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Dark Deep Red. Glad you like it. All coming back now. She would she would go into like this world that was like darkness. Stand there. <laughs> she can like there's like a dead girl in that world when did that show come out i think 2016 right Holy shit, man. It's a long time ago. Yeah. Stranger things. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> You know, I need to find a TV show to watch. I need to find something good. I want to watch that X-Men uh, 90, 97? So There's a Isn't show it? for that? Yeah. Did you ever watch the, um, the 90s X-Men growing up? No, uh, no. Uh, it's like, I guess it's a continuation of it, and it looks like the same style animation, kind of. A little different, but... Oh, it's an look. animated show? Yeah, it's like animated. Oh. No, I never it watched that. It takes place in 1997, I guess. Huh. It was a very specific year. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I used to think uh, Cyclops was like the coolest fucking character in the world. When I was yeah. A kid. <laughs> yeah. A Cyclops action figure and everything. Yeah, him and. Him and Daredevil kind of have a similar vibe. God, I wish you could, like, <clears throat> move it. Like, I, I'll make a drawing and I'll do things on two different layers, but you can't, like, move both <laughs> layers at once. So you're trying to do that with the MF Doom Dry? I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. You're just free balling it, man. I just did, I just drew like a tiny L on both of the layers and I'm like, okay, I'll just try to match it up with that. <laughs> what does Cyclops' chin look like? <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick a song for you to play? I don't know, I... I, I want to try to avoid playing like copyrighted stuff just for streams because I I made that mistake on the last couple ones but but if you have any song recommendations I'm down to you can recommend me some I'll check them out later So it's just the Frutiger Arrow playlist for now. Yeah, I just gotta... What are we drawing now? I'm, I'm just gonna draw... I'm just gonna stream of consciousness draw for a bit so I can kind of get comfortable. I'm kind of feel not warmed up still.
has the scream Cyclops does when he shoots his lasers. He goes, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> X-Men go. There's like Angel, he's got wings. Did you ever watch the original X-Men movie? The live action one? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen that. Clarice? This... Oh, oh, what do you say? Uh, no, it's just those are... It's interesting watching, like, the superhero movies before the big, like, Marvel boom, you know? Yeah. I am a better? That they were better, in my opinion. Uh, oh, yeah. No, yeah, I like, I like the... That's not a hot take, but... No, I like the... Uh... Those, like, original Spider-Man movies were... Like... I like them a lot. Like, we... Yeah. Like a or couple the Hulk movie, the Hulk movie was <laughs> the, the Hulk movie, the, the one where he's like super horny. <laughs> is that it? Is that the uh, when did that come out? Like 2004 or something? Yeah, like 2003. Were you saying that they did like a, a thing where it's like in like a comic booky type of style? Yeah, like they would do split screens all like comic book panel like. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I've heard about that movie was that it like bombed. But I would I'd be down to watch that though. I'm I'm uh Fulfilling Clarice's request for probably the most heinous request I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, man, I'm so bad at drawing hoods. <laughs> oh, hoods. Yeah, that's... That's one of those things that's tricky to draw. Especially, like, when they're... When somebody's wearing their hood down, you know? <laughs> it always kind of just looks a little wrong when you try to draw it. Yeah. Clarice, how am I supposed to... The Demogorgon doesn't have lips. I'll just give him lips. Also doesn't have eyes, but I'm gonna give him eyes. Fuck it. <laughs> how, are you not gonna, how are you gonna get the Demogorgon's passionate emotions without the eyes. <laughs> it looks like uh, he's making out with some like flower person. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry, please. I can't draw this Demogorgon. It's not. Not looking very demogorgon y. <laughs> Give them some smack. <laughs> Dark.
dark deep red says make it happen cap make it happen cap happen <laughs> Ooh, this is kind of sultry he's got his like or it's got its hands kind of caressing Dan Gorgon's cheek but like under the hood you know yeah <laughs> yeah erotic <laughs> Clarice says she wants to feel the passion. It's not giving you enough passion, Clarice. <laughs> Is this not giving passion? As <laughs> the kids like to say. Yeah, that that and uh like he ate. Like, he think he ate. <laughs> <laughs> he think he ate. I was just thinking about that, and I'm thinking, like, how do you, like, mistake having eaten? You know what I, I mean? Like, if you just take it completely literally. <laughs> like, he thinks he ate, but he didn't. Like, what is he, like, chewing his pillow, thinking it's a turkey leg? You know? <laughs> oh shit. Thank you, Clarice. Yeah, the dem- the- what is this? Dementor is whisking this Demogorgon off in the night sky. <laughs> what is- what does Hogwarts look like? This looks like Agrabah or something, I was gonna... I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh my god. Get this shit off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <clears throat> when I turn the stabilizer up, it makes my shit, like... draw super slow. Oh, uh, does it make it all smooth and stuff? It makes it smooth, but there's like a delay. But at the same time, it kind of... It kind of has like an interesting feel to it when you're drawing, having the delay. Mm. Try it. Might oh, just I be think... my computer, though. <laughs> Yeah, Clarice, I even gave you a BG. <laughs> Erasing. Oh, I threw it on the wrong layer. Enough of that. What to draw? <laughs> yeah, Clarice is satisfied with with your drawing. As long as Clarice is satisfied. <laughs> I gotta figure out, I gotta, like, figure out how to do those, like, custom emoji things in chat. That'd be cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe they'll, hopefully I can get that set up for next stream.
neutron. Hmm. Muscles. <laughs> Damn, it's a nice pose. Bodybuilder. Yeah. Bodybuilder shit. I don't know. Someone give me something to draw. Well, chat, you got anything? <laughs> 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 Draw the Mr. Sparkle version of Homer. Oh, oh that's a good request. Wait, how come I can't fucking move this shit? Oh, I was on the wrong way. Obviously. Uh. This right here. <laughs> Mr. Sparkle. Hey, I love Mr. Sparkle. Is that uh, from like an early season of The yeah. Simpsons? I uh. believe so. I forget which episode exactly, but... <laughs> Just know the Japanese were not happy. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> they were not hyped on it. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just go for it. Mer's got like a red. 
Son los de Gears. It's got flies, but Mr. Sparkle, so he has like anime eyes, I believe. If I remember correctly. Which I'm gonna do this with the Simpsons. Are you doing it uh off the dome? Yeah. I'm using reference. I wanna. Do you know if like uh, they ever put out like a a book of all of Matt Groening's comics from back in the day? I don't know. Cause I know he had like a comic called like Life in Hell or something like that, where it follows like a bunny character. Have you ever heard of that? I've heard of that. Um, I feel like I've seen some examples of it. Um, I don't know. Is there is there not a version of it out there? There has to be, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like it, like The Simpsons is like one of the biggest animated things ever. You know? Yeah. Sparkle. But I love seeing stuff like that where it's like you can kind of you can see like the just the origins of of something you know like it's just because Simpsons is just like the biggest thing ever so like it's really interesting seeing stuff made from the guy that created it but before he had any prominence you know yeah and another uh, there's a couple other interesting ones like hey arnold started as a comic um and then then there's another one uh oh yeah the the movie the mask that's based off a comic too All right but butcher cakes asks any advice for inspired for aspiring animators yeah yeah let me think for a sec probably well one is just have a sketchbook and and have like try to do like a range of different types of drawings so like do stuff that's like just kind of doodling and you're just kind of having fun and just exploring different things and then also try to do like life drawing as well because that'll like help like improve your technical ability um so like for starting out i would just say do a lot of like life drawing and then also like on the side just like doodling and you know developing characters and stuff like that um but yeah and like life drawing that could be anything like that could be just like drawing your pets or or drawing like even like plants and stuff like that can help a lot because like it's like an organic like thing so that kind of like applies to drawing like anything with life you know but it, they're complicated to draw because of all the detail so that can kind of like help improve your your observational skills you know but on top of that maybe try to like try to find like a like a broad range of different uh like animation styles that you like 
Because I think that, like, a lot of people fall into this trap where they they find, like, one thing that they like, and then they kind of just go on this path of kind of, like, replicating that. Um, and I kind of see this a lot with, like, people that are really into anime that are animators, and it kind of, they don't really, they kind of just take it at face value and kind of just draw in an anime style where they could be doing something that's maybe a little more, like, like specific to them as a person, you know? But not, I'm not saying, like, being into anime is bad or anything like that but i feel like it's good to have like a like a broad range of of things that you're inspired by no anime is life <laughs> don't ever don't ever try anything but anime <laughs> do you have any advice basin uh I would say what is uh what is that one guy even Steven say just do it yeah yeah just do it no I mean honestly like yeah that's a good that's good advice because with animation it's one of those things where it's like it feels really daunting to do if you've never done it before. So you kind of just need to throw yourself into it and just start doing it. And oh well, actually, one piece of advice that's really good is um, just don't don't beat yourself up for making stuff that looks bad because the learning curve for animation is like a lot steeper than other things. Like it took me like three like three years three to four years before i like i felt like i was kind of comfortable animating you know like it can feel pretty unnatural for a while when you're doing it but just stick with it and you'll start to like get the hang of it you know it's also very tedious so yeah make sure you like doing it <laughs> yeah Yeah, and one tip for, like, getting over the tedium tedium of it is, like, just try to focus on the end goal that you're striving for, because it is, like, just, like, a really long, laborious process, but if you just kind of keep reminding yourself of that, like, the initial spark of inspiration you had to make something that can kind of keep you, keep you moving, you know? But yeah, if you, if you had any other questions about animating, I'm down to give my takes on it. Dark Deep Red said Mr. The Mr. S Mr. Sparkle is from season eight. Sounds right. I'm not sure. Cake says, I appreciate your thorough response. Found this channel for Major Bummage and just recently started checking out your older stuff. Very cool. What software do you use to make tunes? 
I use uh, TV paint. But yeah, I I just like TV paint because it's just like the it's like the best animation program if you just want to make like traditional frame by frame animation like it's just the most intuitive to use also like if you you can buy it all at once so that's like a huge positive because like uh like toon boom is like a subscription based program so you have to like you're never done paying for it, you know, which is like, which really sucks. So, I mean, I, I like TV paint a lot. I'm gonna try drawing a Hank Hill. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, good good luck getting into animation butcher cakes. Oh, yeah, you got it. Just keep going. Judge's characters are really difficult to draw. <laughs> yeah. They just have that quality. <laughs> yeah, there's... They're difficult because, like... They're... Uh, like, it's difficult because, like, if you draw one part of something wrong, it just, like, everything looks out of whack, you know? Like, especially, like, Beavis and Butthead, like, they're really <laughs> tricky to draw. Butcher Cakes asks, was there any cartoons that influenced you to start animating your own stuff? Yeah, I feel, well, I mean, I, I've always liked animation throughout my life, but probably, like, the two that really made me want to, like, pursue animation seriously was Adventure Time and Regular Show because that came out when I was in high school and that kind of like reignited my love of animation or whatever just because they felt so fresh you know but lately I'm, I like a lot of like stuff that I see online like that's probably the stuff i'm most inspired by nowadays and then also uh stuff like i mean beavis and butthead is like probably had like a really big impact on me just because i I saw the movie when I was like seven and just thought it was like the funniest shit. Savannah says, Phineas and Ferb, lol. Oh, well. <laughs> I never watched Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, I, um, my, I think my like brother and sisters like it a lot but I, I never really got into phineas and ferb but i remember i um i oh wait oh shit that's savannah from uh i used to work with her how's it going savannah 
but I remember watching the uh, the premiere of Phineas and Ferb like back in like 2008 or something. It was right after High School Musical 2. <laughs> <laughs> God, Mike Judge, like, says that, like, he's not, like, a good artist or whatever, but, like, like, Hank Hill is so tricky to draw, what the hell? <laughs> It's the lit show. <laughs> Louise says high school musical two rocked. <laughs> I was like I was like honestly kind of jealous of uh Zach Efron's character in that back then because like in every like scene he had like a new pair of uh van slip-ons on <laughs> and i was like damn like i wish i had all those van slip-ons yeah <laughs> that was like the most prominent thing about high school musical 2 to me <laughs> was like he has so many van slip-ons in this movie you know what i'm just gonna make Hank Hill, um, like, it's Hank Hill, but as Bart. <laughs> that Hank Hill mixed with uh, Bart Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> Luis Ho asks, what's a big goal of yours that you're working towards this year? Um, just, I mean, the main goal is to try to make some stuff for the channel. Like, I want to get this, uh, this next major bummage short done, like, as soon as I can. So that's the main... It, it, it probably just has to do with the, the channel, just try to keep, keep grinding on that stuff. Grinding. Gotta keep grinding. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't have a boo man. <laughs> 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 Goal number one, major bummage, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's that sums it up. But for anybody that's curious, the the new the next major bummage episode is in the works. So Keep on the lookout. Yeah, I'm uh butcher cakes. I'm I'm trying to. I want to continue it as a series. So I'm uh that's just the plan for now. I, I want to make more episodes of that and then there's some other some other like short film ideas that i want to make but i i've always wanted to like make a series of something and i feel like just the major bummage kind of concept i have like a lot of kind of ideas for scenarios that those characters could be in so i'm just trying to go full steam ahead on that <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> Butcher cakes thought they were dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! They didn't blow up. The truck <laughs> blew up. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that some of that stuff will be addressed in it. So stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, glad you're excited, Dark Deep Red. Raria asks, can you draw a wizard? Yeah, Dark I can. Deep Red says, uh, I would buy an MB t shirt. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I have, uh, I want to actually make merch of it. That would be, that sounds really fun to, to try to do. I might. I don't want to make anything, like, until I get the next thing done, just so it's, like, you know. I just, I feel like it feels more natural if I kind of have another edition of it to make merch, but I, I'm definitely, I have plans for that in the future. I was looking into, uh, how to, like, how to get, like, hats made, too. I feel like that would be, it'd be cool to make, like, hats and stuff like that. Oh, hell yeah. Because you can, like, there's, like, companies that'll, like, embroider stuff for you. So, I feel like that would be fun. I might start, if I st do merch, I'll probably start like small on the first one so it might be like pretty limited but it would be uh, it would be fun to to make some of that uh, damn butcher cakes and louise are down to get merch too oh yeah but louise says do you come up with the title of your shorts before or after they're complete? Is it hard for you to come up with a title for something that you've made? 
Yeah, um, well, with Major Bummage, like, it's funny because I, I didn't have a title for it, like, the whole time I worked on it. And then, like, Basin, I remember, I think, didn't you kind of say, like, as a working title, Major Bummage? Uh, I don't think it was me. I feel, well, I feel like we were, we both kind of discussed it, and, we, and I... I, I remember you you kind of like were encouraging of like oh major bummage it might be just like a good working title to go with you know oh, yeah that could be it I think we yeah maybe you came up with major bummage and then like I was like ooh it's got a nice ring to it yeah I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I was yeah with with major bummage that was probably the most difficulty I've had with coming up with a title. But there was, I remember with Bet Your Bottom Dollar, I thought, I I came up with that pretty easily. It, I, it was between either Bet Your Bottom Dollar or Mail of Splendor, and I went with Bet Your <laughs> Bottom Dollar. And then, and then the other stuff I've made, it was pretty simple because like a lot of the stuff on my channel were made pretty quickly so i kind of like came up with the titles quickly but it is i feel like the longer you work on something the trickier it is to come up with a title if you haven't settled on something because you're just like you want to pick like the perfect name for it you know Says, that's so interesting. I'd love to learn about the process process and what could have been for a potential title. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, no problem, Louise. Ray Mickens <laughs> says, any experience with drugs or psychedelics? I was wondering if Major Bummage had some experience behind it. <laughs> uh, all I'll say is... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll but, leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I mean, I've had my uh, fair share of experiences. But yeah, I feel like, I mean, it's kind of like inspired by that partly just kind of like some of the crazy shit that I got myself into, <laughs> but <laughs> but it's also like I don't know. It's just it's fun. It, like it's fun to develop kind of like absurd scenarios and stuff like that. And I feel like kind of like the stoner characters just kind of fit that that kind of story style well so it yeah it, like i didn't like i didn't make it because it's like oh like like i'm a stoner man like i gotta fucking make stoner characters like it was it just kind of like came about kind of naturally i guess
But yeah, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Butcher Cake says stay in drugs, don't do school. <laughs> That's a, another way to go about it. Deep Red says, it definitely had a little Cheech and Chong fabulous furry freak brothers vibe. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I never watched Cheech and Chong and like it was it was kind of near the end of when I was animating Major Bummage. I, I was like, oh, I should probably check out Cheech and Chong just because it's kind of like a similar you know, concept, just like stoner characters getting into shenanigans. And I, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> like, like I watched this scene where, like, where, where Chong, he like, he give like, he, uh, like Cheech accidentally takes a bunch of acid or something. And Chong is like, like like oh it's it's chill man just like be chill and then like cheech starts like <laughs> like he starts like laughing really hard and saying like weird shit and then a cop pulls him over and like he's just acting insane because he's like coming up on acid and everything like i just thought that was like the funniest shit because <laughs> it's like I don't know, I kind of hit close to home with with the way he was kind of acting and like laughing really hard and shit. Have you ever seen any Cheech and Chong Basin? Not that I can recall, uh, but I, I feel like I've seen bits and pieces of it somewhere, somehow, maybe on TV or something. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I just remember what they look like and their, their car or whatever, or their van. Yeah. I think one of them kind of talks like, hey man, like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Is that from Up in Smoke? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Up in Smoke. Yeah. Is that a movie or something? Yeah, I think I think that was their first movie. But yeah, that scene is from Up in Smoke. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny because, like, Cheech is, like, 
he's like unable to control himself and then like chong sees that the cop is behind him and he's like it's like yo chill out man <laughs> like <laughs> like the cops are here and he's like that uh, was just it was that was a funny scene <laughs> But yeah, I want to. I kind of want to know more about Cheech and Chong because it's because they made like mute, like they made they started doing comedy albums. I think I'm. I'm actually not sure. But Are they like from the seventies or something? I think so. Crazy. Yeah, it says they started in 1971. That was like over 50 years ago, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a long nuts. time ago, man. Oh, we've talked about this, like how um, the 80s when we were kids didn't feel that long ago no feels like a lifetime ago yeah so fucking weird well actually i mean for me i felt I, for me the 80s always felt like a long time ago but like when i think back to like you know at like 2002 like just because vice city came out in 2002 mm. like i remembered playing that game thinking like like oh this is like supposed to be the 80s like oh the 80s were so long ago but the, like the 80s would have been like 15 years before that you know yeah so, which is like really weird to think about like yeah, that's insane. But, yeah, it's interesting because there was, like, a lot of, like, 80s-inspired media that was coming out, like, in the 2000s and, and I guess, like, 2010s and stuff. And now I feel like we're starting to see more media coming out that, like is inspired by the 2000s so it's like interesting seeing how like each kind of new generation of like filmmakers will kind of like make pieces of art that are like inspired by their childhood era that they grew up in you know right do we skip the 90s though <laughs> is anyone inspired by the 90s yeah, there's stuff inspired by the 90s, but I feel like something about the 80s is so, like, bombastic that I feel like a lot of stuff sticks out in your head when you're thinking about stuff that's inspired by that era. I guess, yeah. Luis says, would you ever challenge yourself to animate a short with a specific time frame? Joel Haver hosts this challenge where he invites people to make a 40 minute film during the Oscars. Um, no, yeah, I would, I'm down to do something like that. That's kind of, um, like, it's, a lot of the stuff on my channel is, I made it for this thing called 48 hour films that we had in school. And like, you basically just had a weekend, uh, come up with something and and execute it and so and I, I feel like I learned a lot from doing that type of stuff so I'm definitely down to to do that again just like right now I, I want to make like a couple more things that are a little more fleshed out I guess but I do want to get back into doing that but but yeah, but I mean, yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of Joel Haver. 
That guy's stuff is really cool. Dark Deep Red says, I was born in 79. That was too long ago for my liking. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, time flies. Butcher Cake says, earlier you brought up how you are more now more inspired from internet animators. Are there any YouTube anim animators that inspired you? Yeah, I mean... Uh, I mean, I've said this before, but, like, probably my favorite, like, internet animator is Pilot Red Sun, just because of how, like, yeah, I mean, it's just, like, super unique what he does, and I, I really like his super specific sense of humor and stuff, um, but then I also like, like, Umami is really cool, like, I like his stuff a lot. Um, and then there's, God, I feel like there's a bunch of others, but I just, it, this always slips my mind, like, when I'm trying to think of people. You're like, um, what's his name? Drew Langlois or something, right? Oh, yeah, Drew, yeah, what's, how do you pronounce his name? Drew Lang, yeah, this guy. Langlois. Yeah, this guy has made he's some dope. good stuff. But he he's uh, done some shorts for this channel called The Minute Hour. Drew Langua. Oh yeah, that and, channel's dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually if you're if you wanna find some like internet uh like animation people, the minute hour is like a kind of like a good way to find a few different people because he the the channel is a, is run by a guy that like makes kind of like radio play type stuff and then there's like different animators that will like take some of those radio plays that he made and uh and they'll like just turn it into like an animated film so you can like that, that you can find some cool people through that um oh but another like a couple of other guys on the internet that i like um there's a guy named slouch that makes really cool stuff i know he made something for the minute hour um and yeah his stuff is just really cool like he he does like a lot of really outside the box stuff um, and then another guy that I think is super funny is Fink Fish City. And, like, he, he kind of has been making, like, the, a bunch of, like, these kind of, like, short installments that kind of cover, like, it, it's, like, a lot of world-building stuff for these characters called, like, or for this town called Fink Fish City. And, like, you kind of follow different characters and stuff. And I just think his stuff is super funny. But... Butcher Cake says, Pilot Red Sun kicks ass. Yes. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Agreed. <laughs> Louise says, I love that. Looking forward to whatever you make regardless. Oddly enough, I think I work better under a time crunch. Yeah, I mean, that can, that can definitely help. Ever ch Butcher Cake says, ever check out any e Ian Miller's animations? That guy also has some really sick stuff. His name, I think I know who that is. Let me look him up really quick. Oh, oh yeah, I think I know about this guy. Did he make the, uh, 
Did he make the animation of, like, the guy in the bathroom? Like, with the urinal or something like that? Yeah, yeah, cheap joke. Yeah, I've seen that guy's stuff. It's, his stuff is really cool. Yeah, cheap joke. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of his stuff. There's this other animator online, uh, that his channel name is Andy Land, and oh, he was uh, like, yeah. yeah, he, he's one of those guys where I'm like, how the hell do you make that amount of animation, like, in that short amount of time, you know? He's crazy. Yeah, like, I, it's people like that where I, like, I wish I could just, like, watch them work for a day to, like, see how they're so efficient. Because his stuff is, like, the quality is, like, super high, but he's able to, like, put stuff out, like, super quickly. Like, I'm, I don't completely understand it. Yeah. Is it, um, is it the same assignment that you were working on this past week? Uh, the last week? Um, uh, it's a different one. This is the, the portfolio piece, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, I should, like, I don't know. But I know, I know, I'm, I know I don't have to, like, finish it obviously it's just the first stage of it yeah I have like so much shit to figure out sorry i'm not as present right now i'm like dying <laughs> no you're good no but... yeah i know what you mean that that last assignment where you have to like come up with your own story and everything is tricky like it's easy to like overthink everything and and do all that you know just kind of lose your way yeah oh i am lost in the sauce brother <laughs> i'm gonzo <laughs> damn that's a nice pointing finger <laughs> Thank you. Luis asked 
Is he a one-man team, too? Yeah, Andy Land does all his stuff on his own. Really impressive. Uh, Luis says good luck with your assignment, Basin. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Trying my best. Yeah, you really, you foreshortened that, that finger really well. <laughs> oh, thanks. Louise asked, if you weren't an animator, what would you do instead? Um, uh, pro <laughs> what? Oh, no, I was just thinking about what I would be instead, and I just said, oh, God. <laughs> I think I think maybe like something with music maybe because I oh yeah I like do I like making music and stuff too and I feel like I like in an alternate reality maybe I I was mainly a musician and did animation on the side type of thing because like I do, I wish I had, like, more time where I could, like, dedicate a ton of time to making music, but, yeah, I'd probably do something like that. Something, something creative still, because I, I don't think I'm, I'm cut out for, like, academic stuff, like, it's just too, just my ADHD isn't, <laughs> like... I can't, like, just sit down and study for long periods of time. Because it's one of those things where I, like, look back at my time in, in school, and I just think, like, like, how the hell did I get through that? Like, <laughs> I always, like, I don't even know. I don't even have memories of, like, studying or anything like that. Like, I know I did at some point, but, like, like, jeez, like, I had a lot of trouble, like, focusing, like, in school.
Uh, Dark Deep Red asks, what kind of music do you make? I make... Oh, you guys got to ch check out Rez Clanger. <laughs> yeah, I, I have, uh, I have, like, one song that I put out so far. I want to put out more stuff, but just, like, for the time being, I've been focusing on animation a lot, but, yeah, it's, like, it's, yeah, it's, like, electronic stuff, you know? Like... Yeah, I don't I don't know how to describe it exactly, but I listen to like a lot of different types of music, so it, I kind of just draw inspiration from a lot of different stuff. But yeah. Like one one group I really like like how they make music is Coil because their stuff is really like subversive sounding and like they use a lot of like really interesting colorful sounds but there's still like kind of like a there's it's like a darker element to the stuff they make too so it kind of has like it both sounds like super like bright and colorful but also like like there's something like deeper going on at the same time you know so I kind of like stuff like that, like, kind of like industrial music that isn't, like, completely just, like, brooding, edgy stuff, you know? Luis says... Nice music allows for a lot of creative freedom as well. Any song rec recommendations for Coil? Yeah, Penetralia. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of my favorite songs ever. What a sick title. <laughs> but yeah, Penetralia. Um... The Wraiths and Strays of Paris is really good, too. But they have, like, a lot... They, they have, like, a really interesting musical catalog. And then also the, the album Love Secret Domain is really good by them. Deep Dark Deep Red says, cool, I tinker with electronic music too. Yeah, it's super, it's super fun, like, trying, like, just messing around with sounds and experimenting with it and stuff. Like, I could do that forever. Like, it's just really fun exploring all that stuff. I'm gonna be right back, Basin. Ciao. You guys doing? Smell pizza all of a sudden. But I don't have pizza. Is that worrisome? Should I be worried? You know how like if you smell something burning, it's like you might be, I don't know, going through some medical emergency. I don't, it's not, it doesn't smell like it's burning. It just kind of smells like, well, it's gone now, but I don't know. I'm worried, guys. 
a bit of a hypochondriac. Anyone else a bit of a hypochondriac? <laughs> no, the window's not open. Any drawing recommendations for me? We're in the wrong city for pizza. Oh yeah, you're in LA, huh? I think you mentioned, yeah. Not to, I mean, LA's a big place. They won't, no one's gonna. Anyways, LA, LA has some okay pizza, right? I don't know. You know, I'm actually a, I'm actually a big deep dish guy. I know that's sacrilege to some people, but I love me some deep dish. Had it once in Chicago. Had it a couple times in Chicago. Changed my life. I don't know if there's any pizza purists out there. But New York style pizza is good too, for sure. Yo. Hell oh, yeah, Dark Deep Red says deep dish is cool. Deep dish. <laughs> deep dish pizza again. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Deep dish is the best. <laughs> yeah. Underrated. Over yeah, my, <laughs> my uh I lived in Illinois when I was little, so we used to have deep dish a lot. I haven't found really good pizza here. If you're in LA, there's uh Damn, I was hearing about this one spot actually where it's like this dude it's just one dude making pizzas and like i think he has a truck or something or it's like man man let me look this up la Secret Pizza LA. Secret try Pizza it and, LA? Yeah, try it and let me know what you think. Um, it's just one dude. He's not even any kind of chef or whatever. It's just a guy <laughs> making pizza. Like, he just, he's not even a chef. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's <laughs> yeah, he's like not shit. even... <laughs> he's not even making pizza. He's making... <laughs> <laughs> Burritos. <laughs> Secret Pizza LA. People seem to like it. Real classic New York style pizza, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just some bread, some sauce, <laughs> cheese. There's the uh there's that place that we went to um uh on the weekend basin oh yeah disano yeah disano is really good check that spot out they make oh, like God. like the like classic italian margarita pizza 
but that place is really good. Oh, really? Damn. He lives on the... On um, the Secret Pizza Street or Desana? Alright, don't... You don't have to say. <laughs> that's pretty... That's pretty uh, public. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> but uh, either way, sick. Yeah, what, what's the area code? Yeah. <laughs> What's that number unit you live in? Uh, I guess. <laughs> what time of the day are you not at home? <laughs> yeah. Come through, Louise, eat some American pizza. Me. What country are you from? Is that too personal to ask? Now, now you're trying to dox Louise. Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dark Deep Red said it says it's cool because it's a super long street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta try out that secret pizza. Yeah, I wanna try it out. The pizza looks actually really good. I'm actually getting really hungry looking at this pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have dinner already? Uh, not yet. Dinner too. Uh, you're in Canada, Louise. Canada. Canada, eh? Yeah, I've never visited Canada. Uh, I've only been to Vancouver. No, Vancouver. Yeah, Canada, yeah, it's sick as hell, actually. Vancouver is sick. Yeah, I want to visit there. But it's like, is it... Can you see like uh, like Washington? From I'm, I'm assuming you can, right? Because it's pretty close to the border from there. Or is it like? I think you can. I'm not sure, but they got like dank ass Chinese food, actually. Oh really? Yeah. There's like a neighborhood called Richmond that we went and visited, and like. They have a whole map filled with dumpling spots, and they're all super fucking good. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to rain like crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been raining a lot lately in LA. And thunder and lightning. Yeah. It's been crazy. I mean, I like, I like rain, so I'm not complaining. You do? Yeah, I like rain. Do you not like rain? Not gonna lie, I, I can do without it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the, like, being inside when it's raining, you know? Like, it just kind of feels comfortable. Don't you feel trapped? I always feel trapped. 
I, when I was younger, I feel like I felt more trapped, but if I'm just like working on the computer or something and it's raining, it's pretty chill. Yeah, if you, uh, you try that pizza, let us know what you think, Dark Deep Red. Yeah. Oh, shit. Mail carrier? Hell yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. My uncle is a mail carrier. Yeah, he still is. Yeah, I bet that can be sketch when it's, like, pouring... Cause I was uh, like earlier this year I was uh, I was doing like Uber Eats deliveries and stuff, and it was like there like a flash flood was happening while I was doing it, and I was like and it was like sketchy as hell driving everywhere, but like but I kept on going because the the orders were like like I guess like if like a flash flood happens or something you make like way more money doing deliveries than you would otherwise so i just like kept going you know <laughs> even though like it was pretty sketchy and like my car started making weird noises because i was driving through these like massive puddles you know of <laughs> course yeah Vancouver yeah. and Washington are super close to each other. Right. Yeah, it'd be fun. I've always wanted to visit, like, Washington and Seattle and stuff. Yeah. So it'd be, it'd be yeah. cool to do, like, a... It'd be cool to do, like, a dual trip, like, visit Washington and try to see, like, Vancouver or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it was intense, Louise. <laughs> Damn, that's sick. <laughs> the pirate you drew. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta practice some, like, foreshortening stuff. Yeah. It is really fun. I do love doing it. It's just it's fucking hard. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta use a lot of brain energy thinking yeah. about how things look in space. 3D shapes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I get soaked every time I work in the rain. The USPS rain gear is useless. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there, like, a recently, a uh, uh... A strike or something or maybe it got close to being a strike or maybe i'm thinking of like the auto workers i don't know i don't know. I, I i know they're like more 
industries have been striking lately. Yeah. Like the the landscapers for um like I was walking to work like like a like a couple weeks ago and like and then like all the landscapers for the like the apartment complex I live in were like picketing outside of the 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 apartment complex whatever the name for it is so like there's a lot of uh just different people that are striking yeah hey bro i think i'm i'm starving i gotta eat dinner okay yeah i should probably eat something too Sorry if I kept you. <laughs> no, no, you're chilling. I wanted to stay on, but my body is just hitting its <laughs> limit. <laughs> like if we stay on any longer, you just like yeah. pass out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dark Deep Red says, I think UPS, UPS had a strike. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. But, well. Damn. Well, yeah, All I guess right. I guess this is the end of the stream, guys. But thanks for coming out. It's cool. Sorry, guys. I didn't I didn't mean to make you cut it off. I mean, you could stay on for sure. But... No, <laughs> now I'm getting kind of hungry too. I might it might be maybe we can start streaming like earlier next time or something. Yeah, or later if you want, like after dinner or something. Yeah, yeah, that could also work. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Thanks for All watching, right. guys. It's cool seeing, seeing uh, regulars come back. Yeah, Eric community members. Yeah, the Eric Live community. <laughs> the Eric Live community <laughs> members. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Louise. Have a good night. Yeah. yeah see you, dark people. Guys.